So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon. Today on the show, we're going to be going over Action Vinyls and Loyal Subjects, Masters of the Universe, Minifigs. Now as you can see, I have already opened this, uh, but we'll wait for the reveal. Um, as you can see on the box, it's got He-Man holding up his power sword. Castle Grayskull around him. It's got that 1980s style Masters of the Universe logo on it. On the left hand side, or on one side, you can see fully posable modern action vinyls. We've got Trap Jaw, Triclops, and He Man. On the back, we've got a few rarer figures. We have the Gold Edition He Man. We have Anti-Eternia He-Man. We have Tila, And we have Beast Man. Now Beast Man looks like he's a little bit different than the uh, version that uh, John reviewed a few weeks ago. I think the colors might be different. Then on the other side we have Skeletor. Evil Lin. And once again Beast Man. On the bottom, it's just the copyright with the uh, Loyal Subjects Wave 2 LLC and their ad manufacturing address. Made in China. On the top, you've got the Masters of the Universe logo, Action Vinyls, and Loyal Subjects logo. Same on the inside flap. And now let's get into the figure. As you can see, the figure does come in a sealed blind bag, so you never know, even if you pop the box open at the store, you never know which one you're going to get. It is a silver style bag, um, aluminum foil it appears. Alright guys, welcome back to Come Again. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Loyal Subjects Masters of the Universe Vinyl Minifigures. So let's go ahead and start off with Evil Lynn. As you can see, she does have her same yellow color scheme for her skin as the original vintage figures. She does come with her magic staff. And it's a little rough trying to get it, at, pulling it straight out. Um, but, you can do it! Alright, as you can see, there is the dark shade of blue for her little helmet piece, or headpiece with the lighter blue for the spikes. You have to, excuse me, today I do have a little bit of a cold I woke up with. Uh, green eye shadow looks like she's got purple eyes some uh, black eyeliner and kind of a melon colored lipstick as you can see she does have the dark blue shirt and uh, bottoms with the light blue ram horns along around her breasts and collar as well as belt and the cufflinks and armbands let's go into some articulation here she, her head is on a ball joint it can move side to side up and down 
However, it is kind of inhibited because of the helmet and the collar. So, um, the helmet does not come off. The arms do move up and down. They go out slightly. Go all the way around. Her hands, they do come on a ball joint. They can rotate all the way around. Same with the other side. Waist articulation all the way around. Legs on a standard uh, ball joint. And her feet are on a ball joint as well. They can move slightly up and down as well as all the way around. Like I said, she did come with her magical staff, which has a nice orb in the center. Uh, they could have done a little bit better job gluing this piece together, um, but overall not too bad. And it does just fit right into her hand just like so. Um, I am not seeing much in the way of paint blemishes at all. She does have a little trouble standing. You gotta fight, kind of rest her against her magical staff. Just like so. Um, now let's go on to Triclops. As you can see, Triclops did come with his sword. Let's go ahead and take that out. He has his different eyes. You can rotate his visor. And it just snaps into place. Um, I get, once again, ball joint. His head can pop off, just like all the others from Loyal Subjects. Pops right back on. Um, it looks like his, uh, his little harness thing, it can come off. Uh, but I'm sure it'd probably be a pain to get back on. As you can see, there is a place for his sword in the back of his uh, vest. Goes in just like that. Very nice. Nice paint job. Not much in the way of paint for Triclops. Just green and black and a little bit of orange. Once again, his arms, just like Evil Inn's. They move up just about that far. They are on a ball joint and go all the way around. His wrists on a ball joint as well. His legs, his waist, and his feet once again on a ball joint. And his sword, not much in the way of detail. A little bit of detail. A uh, nice little detail on the hilt. Uh, but overall, it's just a green piece of plastic. But not too bad. <clears throat> and now we jump into tra Trap Jaw. Very nice piece, very articulated. His mouth does open and close. For those of you who want to know more about Trapjaw, I do have a video on Come Again, the origins of Trapjaw, according to Image Comics. Um, but once again, his head is on a ball joint, pops right off, pop right back on. His arm, same thing, ball joint, hand, legs, move up about that far. Um, I'm, it looks like his armor might kind of hinder the articulation of the legs a little bit. Same with the feet. 
And now for his special action feature. His mechanical arm can rotate all the way around it. I have the blaster in there right now. Let's go ahead and pop that off. He comes with a number of arms, which just attach to his, the back of his belt. Come with these little hooks. Just hang right on there. And they do just pop in pretty easily. Not bad. Uh, but my overall favorite is the blaster. Um, it's the one that doesn't look as ridiculous as the others. So let's go ahead and put those back in there. Paint job is really nice. Got the uh, maroon colored helmet and jaw, uh, green flesh tone, as well as blue flesh tone. Or actually, I believe that's a green skull. I'm sorry, with blue flesh tone. Uh, green belt, maroon colored uh, loincloth, and armor, and black boots. Not much in the way of paint blemishes. Overall, pretty good figure. So overall, I really like these figures. Nice little throwback to the uh, 80s figures. Uh, same paint jobs and everything. Um... So yeah, they, these go right up on my shelf with my Funko Pop and my uh, Dragon Ball Z um, minifigure. So um, yeah, I believe they're available. I got these at Walmart. Um, I believe they're also available at Target and you can get them on Amazon. They are mystery blind bags. So you may want to order a case just to make sure you get them all. So... That's the toy review for this week. Loyal Subjects, Masters of the Universe, Trapjaw, Evil Lynn, and Triclops. Take care, guys. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.